Good afternoon. They were thrown in a grocery bag and dumped on a ditch bank. Someone found the seven puppies in that bag yesterday. Most of them did not survive. Now, county officials and sheriff's deputies are working to find out who did it. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is live in the newsplex with the story. Kim, the good news is two of the puppies did survive and are being cared for. But whoever's responsible for dumping the pups didn't think long about it. They're so young, they can't even open their eyes yet. The odds were against these two pups, less than 12 hours old when they were found yesterday, stuffed inside a grocery bag with five other siblings who did not survive and dumped by this ditch in the South Valley. I'm angry. I mean, it's, it, this is a life. Deputies say someone was walking along this path yesterday when they saw a grocery bag moving on the ground. That's when they made a gruesome discovery. The two pups, a boy and girl who survived, can't yet open their eyes, can barely lift their wallet wobbling heads and still have their umbilical cords. So they were they were recently born and then someone made the decision to discard them as trash and that's uh, these animals are a life and in a situation like this they're victims and we will consider them victims. Victims of an extreme animal cruelty case as animal care services and the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office work to find who dumped the puppies. Puppies less than 12 hours old are not going to survive that weather. A vet confirmed the five puppies died of either suffocation or exposure to the elements, left overnight by a ditch near Laura Place and Bridge Boulevard. Investigators are working with nearby businesses to see if security cameras caught the culprit and looking into nearby homes to see if someone threw the puppies over the fence. For now, the two survivors are in good hands. They're going to get the care that they need to grow up happy and healthy uh, and, and live the life that they should have been awarded from the start. The two pups we just showed you are in foster care where they're being fed every couple of hours. Since they're so young, animal service workers say they can't yet tell what breed the puppies are. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, anyone who may have seen something is asked to call Animal Care Services at 468-PETS or the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department.